All right, y'all, I'm not going to work 15 for you, but I will tell you that 15 is a completing the square. So this one is a completing the square. So what you need to do to get this going, um, this x squared plus 6x, do you see that? It's supposed to be 6x right there. Um, you're going to go ahead and you're going to basically get everything on one side plus blah, and the number is on the other side, which when we change that sign by moving it, right, you have to add 13, you end up with a positive 13 which I don't think I write it correctly, 13 plus. Pfft. Now you need to find that b over 2 squared thing to find the answer. All right, going on to the next, because I don't want to work it. It's the same as 13 and 14 in mechanics. All right, uh, which one is this? Name the vertex as ac an axis of symmetry of these quadratics. This is super important to me. Uh, one second, y'all. Okay, y'all, 16 through 19. I'm going to go ahead and work these. Uh, quickly, um, check it out. Function, vertex, axis of symmetry, all that stuff. Look, this is just straightforward. Uh, what is my vertex? Remember, the x's always lie. The x's always lie. Axis of symmetry, x equals 2. My vertex, the x's always lie. The x's always lie. The k's do not. My axis of symmetry, check it out. It's always going to be our x value here. Uh, check out this one. Oh my god, mister, I don't know what to do. It's not in the right form. That is correct. It's not in the right form. So what do we need to do to make that happen? I'm going to show you. I'm going to rewrite it in the right form. So I, I want you to understand how to rewrite this in this form. Plus zero squared minus two. Now you should be able to pull the information out of that. Uh, look at my x's. That's a zero. Um, and then that's a negative two. And then that means my axis of symmetry is x equals zero. That's how you rewrite these types of things. This one also requires a rewrite um, a little bit, and I'm going to do it right now. So that's a negative 1 times an x minus 8 squared. And then there's nothing over here, so for our placeholder, it's a plus a 0. So that, you need to do 18 and 19 to really understand how to answer these questions correctly. So my x is always lie, which is an 8, and then that 0 is there. So then my axis of symmetry is 8, and there you have it.